Good morning, all. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to join our Colorado online training. Uh, this is Frank. I'm delighted to be here and share some of our new product and technology today. Uh, we do some technical online training last year and get some very positive feedback from our users. We hope this way could help you to know more information about the Colorado control system. Um, for sure, this is our first training and we will arrange more this year. Let us know what you're interested in, in the control system so we can continue to make progress and do it better. If there is anything that I could help with, please email frank at ldnet.com. We will upload the recorded video to our channel. You could follow us by scan the QR code at the end of this training or search Colorado Technology on YouTube. It will be great to see your comments on our channel. You could also follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn to get the latest information about our training. By the way, taking this opportunity of online training, I wish you all keep healthy due to this special circumstance. Back to today's training, our topic is the introduction of X-Series processor. Due to the customer and market demands, we have released three new members in X-Series family. They are X7, X12, and X20. I keep thinking about what are the users most concerned about and try to introduce enduring foreign contents. Today's training will consist of three parts. The first part, X-Series generalized overview. We will talk about the key point and the feature of new products in detail. The second part, I will give a short demo with X20 uh, with the ISAT software. Let us know how to get started quickly and easily. The third part, the Q&A section. We will review some of the questions at the end of the training. Also, I will unmute your microphone for those who want to get answer in time. Uh, today's training will take along 40 minutes. We hope that through this training, you can gain more product information and choose most suitable solution for your project. Uh, this training will not go deep. It will be very convenient to join us even though you are new users. Okay, let's begin. Uh, what is the X series? Uh, firstly, I would, I would like to introduce Cara Synchronized con Controller. We mainly have three series of products now. This series, uh, including Z6, Z6 Pro, uh, which integrate advanced technology in the LD display industry, such as HDR, low latency, and S-series, which means normal sending card. X-series we will introduce today. All of the modules have integrated video processing features. In some modules, the splicing feature also have been integrated. We hope you don't need to buy another sending card and a video processor separately. It will be simple and cost-effective for your project. I prefer to call it all-in-one processor. Well, firstly, we get a quick view about the new product. I will mainly introduce those following three new products. Let's have a look. X7 with eight output ports, maximum loading capacity reach 5.2 million pixels. Uh, it is suitable for screen resolution between 2K to 4K. And switching, scaling, splicing, uh, all its support. And it also support HDCP 1.4. X12 uh, with 
with child octopus, 7.2 million pixels can be handled. There are three HDMI or one DI, one DVI. Also, the scaling, switching, and the spline speed feature are built in. And the next one, X20, a processor with more than 4K capacity. The maximum resolution can reach 5K by 2K. It is support HDCP 2.3 standard. Let's check in detail with those three products. Now we present you the front panel appearance of X20, 12, and X7. They are sh share similar appearance and operation method. About the size of X7, uh, it is one standard rec unit. X12 and X20 have two standard rec unit. All of them can be perfectly fit to an equipment rack. From uh, left to right, including a LCD, which displays the operation manual and system information. A rod to adjust configuration without PC. On your right hand, those are function and selection uh, key. You can change video source and preset mode here. Up to 16% for multiple SIM mode. Let's have a look at the X6, uh, X7 first. This slide will show the back panel of X7. Uh, from left to right, uh, there is an AC power plug which working from 100 to 240 volts. X7 provides two different controlled methods, USB control and RS232. About the USB control, uh, the tab Type B is the input for system configuration. And type A is for cascading to the next controller. About the input interface, they got a uh, 13G SDI, uh, HDMI by one, and DVI by two. On your right hand, uh, there is eight Ethernet ports. For each one, the maximum pixel capacity is 650,000 pixels. So X7 got 5.2 million pixels in total. X12, compared with X7, it's got a different input interface, uh, three HDMI, uh, 1.4 uh, and 1 DVI. Both support HDCP 1.4. For the maximum pixel capacity, uh, same way to calculate uh, 650,000 pixels by 12. So there is to total, a total uh, pixel capacity is 7.2 million. Now, let's have a look at X20. As a new, uh, newly released product in X series this year, the biggest difference is that it got DP 1.4 and HDMI 2.0. About the DP 1.4, it is supports HDCP 2.3, and the maximum input resolution reach 5120 by 2160 at 60 hertz, a bit. In some case, screen size just over 4K and it need to be displayed pixel by pixel. You may just need one X20 instead of two 4K controllers. Uh, beside 20 Ethernet output ports, X20 got two uh, 10, 10 gigabyte optical fiber output. 
about a fiber other. It can realign long distance transmission. Customer will save one optical transceiver at the front end when they select optical solution. Uh, you will re recommend single mode fiber, which have a longer dis uh, transmission distance and a lower price uh, of the fiber cable. About the USB uh, cascade chain, uh, I will explain one more point. One question of get asked from our users is how many X processor can be cascaded with USB cable? As the picture showed, uh, X20 is available for 5K screen, but more and more customers have having demand on 8K or more. The current solution is to cascade multiple processor to drive a larger LD world by uh, splicing. The maximum number of cascading is 64 units. RX232. The other controlled method. In this slide, we just have a simple look about it. Uh, it is an RJ11 connector which provides for three party equipment only. For example, uh, a screen in the meeting room which needs to be managed by the conference system without PC. The sender protocol will be necessary. Kara can provide API document to assist three-party controlled equipment for software engineers. Compared with the USB control, uh, the API is not full function. It is support those features, on off your screen, brightness, and the color temperature adjustment, preset mode switching, switching etc. Uh, if, you, if you want to check more, we can send you the document about the API. Here is the comparison of the X series. Let's have a look at this chart. Here is three typical model in X series. The many different parameters X follow. The capacity, feature in feature, maximum input resolution, and HDCP standards. Usually, when we get a new project, we will consider those parameters. Through this chart, you can choose a suitable processor for your project. About and other important parameters need to be mentioned. Here is a graph about the maximum pixels on width and height of each model in X series. When we design a new project, the total pixel capacity of processor is not the only parameters need to be considered. We also need to think about the pixel capacity per uh, per each upper part and uh, pixel limitation in the width and height. Let's take an example, X7. X7 can carry up to 8192 pixels on width and 4096 pixels on height. But the maximum capacity is 5.2 million pixels. So when, when the width of your screen reach 8192, the maximum height will be reduced accordingly. You can help both. Let's look at these questions. Uh, we have a long screen 
with 200 pieces of P3.1 uh, cabinets, 200 tile on width and one tile on height, one row. So the screen resolution is 25,600 by 128 pixels. The total pixel is around 3.2 million pixels, which less than the maximum capacity of X7, 5.2 million. But the width of this screen is over the maximum of X7. So we got a question. Is that available with X7? Uh, you can type your question in check window. Uh, what do you think? Yes or no? Okay. Actually, we can divide this long screen into a equal parts or more and move to vertical direction, like as the picture on your left hand. So the screen resolution will become 3200 by 1024 pixels. We just need to do a mapping on the software and customize a video source. The physical connection is still there. This way we call screen split. So you don't need to uh, add more controller to by splicing. One X7 can handle this long screen. Uh, from this part, I would like to introduce more useful features which build in X series processor. This is the loading diagram of X7. The computer provides uh, HDMI or DVI signal, which can control this resolution of screen by scaling. If your screen is more than 4K, like this one. X20 supports DP 1.4 interface, so the maximum resolution can reach 5120 by 2160 pixels, 60 hertz. Sometimes it's not necessary to use all output ports for one processor. As, as this picture, the screen just occupied eight output ports. We can use the spare output port as a backup. Just simply run the RJ45 cable uh, from those spare port to the end of primary cables. And then we all we have to do just a few clicks on the software. And I will show it later in access software. For some important events, we also can set an other sender unit to back up for the main, like this way. One for the main, and other for the backup. That's to say our, uh, our controller can do both road backup and dual controller backup. Uh, the, the operation of the software is quite similar. optical fiber topology. The processor is compatible with H16F fiber transceiver uh, with up to two kilometers in transmission distance. X12, 
X1, we call H16F uh, fiber transceiver, then to your screen for long distance transmission. Uh, some project control room and the screen have a high long distance, so you can choose the optical solution. Also, we got another option for 20 kilometers, but you need to use the specific optical module. Uh, with X20, there's no more fiber transceiver at the front end. It is work with uh, H10FN. The, fi the fiber will go directly to the transceiver, then to your screen. Scaling, uh, broadcast level, field image properties will be lost. The operation is quite simple. All the input can, can be individually scaled, and I will demo how to upscale and downscale in the ISS software. Cropping. Uh, you can crop the video signal and select a part of it to display on your screen. For example, there is a watermark on the upper right corner of this video. We can remove this watermark uh, with the cropping feature. We also can change the aspect ratio of the video through cropping features. Picture in pictures. Uh, this is a frequently used feature in failed application. Up to six window for X20. Each window can be freely resized by dragging. Okay, so in this part, I would share some representative case uh, with our X series. Chinese Spring Festival Gala. Leech of Legend Finals in Shanghai. Asian Culture Carnival. Lakewood Church in Houston. A TV studio in Belgium. Pan American Games in Peru. Okay, let's go to the demo sections. Wait a minute, I will set up a demo environment soon. Uh, let me drag the ISAT software to share screen for one second.
Okay, can you see the cameras? I will show the camera. I will show the screen with the camera. Let's have a look. Just a, just one cabinet. Uh, this uh, this is a uh, software I said the version is uh, four point four point five. If you haven't installed this software yet, you can download it from our official website uh, www.coreinside.com. Uh, after we open the software, you will see three tab uh, in the software, device information, processor, and receiver. The first tab, uh, when you click to tap the device, you will see all the information about the processor on your left hand, the information about receiver on your right hand. You can check uh, how many receiver on each part, the firmware's version, uh, receiver module, uh, cabinet temperature, and the table stages. During after we build up the uh, a whole LED world, we need to do a mapping for a screen, like this way. Uh, we just let the processor and click here, add cabinet like this. Then you can custom the resolution of cabinet of this one. Yeah. Okay. You also can select it and delete, delete. Okay, let's do a mapping like this. Uh, firstly, I will show the output output port vector. You just right click here. Just right click the, the output port two. Then here, output redundancy. That as port one. Then you then you will see the mapping mapping order like this. Uh, if we build a whole world like a four K screen, uh, so we need two controller to do the redundancy, the center backup. So it just click. Uh, connect two processor to your laptop with uh, with the USB cable. Then right click the second one. And here, processor redundancy for the for the first one. Yeah. Also, you can relearn it. Next one. Right. And make. So that's how we do with the backup feature. After we finish it, we just click here, save mapping to whole screen. Oh, okay. Okay, I would like to show you more features about the processor today. This page video source uh, is depends on the processor you connect to your laptop. This page will be different. But now we connect to X20. So the, the, the in interface will like this one. Here to add a new window for X20, we support eight 
uh, pitches, oh, sorry, six pitches, six PIP. So the maximum is six like this. Okay, six window. So right now, this button is turned gray. Yeah, because right now we just got one DVI input, like this one. Uh, you can have a look at the screen. Uh, we can do the scaling, like this, just drag the window and resign the window. Scaling down, scaling up. And also you can right click and set window size here. You can type some number here or just click one by one. It, it means pixel by pixel. Okay. For picture and uh, picture and in pictures features, we just put the window here. Yeah, you can check the screen. That is, yeah, that's picture in picture. Also, you can set up uh, the window on different layer, like this. Okay, this one. Yeah, so you can change the video source to different layer. The cropping feature is on your right hand here. Oh, just click crop. And then you just remove the rectangle. Uh, you can select a part of your video input. Also, you can type, a, uh, type some number on your right hand. Enable and disable. And the EDID setting here. If you want to uh, modify the input resolution, just click here and then select custom. After we finish all the configuration for the processor, uh, we can save as a preset. So for for the X series controller, we provide uh, 16 presets. You can save by the software, then you can roll uh, by the front panel. So next time you don't need to uh, change the preset mode by PC, just the front panel can do it. Okay, uh, that's gonna be all for today's training. Thank you.